Real-time software modeling makes possible the successful implementation of large-scale real-time systems through defining the components in a composition, simulating them, testing them, generating code, and then integrating that code into a larger system. In the video series that follows, I will introduce different modeling styles and contrast them for the purposes of explanation. All modeling styles, including rate-based subsystems, export functions, and schedulable components can be used for real-time software modeling and can be combined. I will also show you how to model functions, such as Simulink functions. As an introduction to the many types of functions Simulink can use to model interfaces in real-time software modeling. All the features highlighted here are white box modeling features, where what you see in the model is what you see in simulation and in code. We are just scratching the surface of how Simulink allows users to do real-time software modeling. More videos are coming to explain this topic further.